All right, hey you guys. Um, I decided to do a video on my body bug because I feel like now I have a good grasp on how it works, um, pros, cons, things like this. Um, I've been wearing this body bug for about three weeks now. Um, excuse me, I just finished my workout and I'm still drinking my little drink and it's giving me the hiccups, so I apologize for that. Um, so what is a body bug? It's this little thing, I don't really want to take it off, but I will. It snaps out of this case, okay, and it looks like this, and it's got a little plug-in right here. Um, you get the different bands. I got a pink one because that's how I roll. Um, and you snap it into this little case just like that. You wear it on your left arm and you kind of want to have it back on your tricep. You don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose. And you wear it there. What does it do? It tracks movement, activity, um, calorie burn, steps. It tracks all of this. You go in and um, input ca calorie intake. You put in basically the food you eat and it sort of tells you the balance of in the middle. Okay, you're eating too much. Oh, you're not moving enough. Oh, everything's working great. Um, it's a whole little system that um, you can create uh, how many, you know, pound loss per week you'd like to see. And, um, why am I losing my train of thought? And uh, it, it assists you in your weight loss journey. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I think I'm chilly in here. That's why I need to put my coat on. So, for me, okay, so it took me a bit to get the bugs worked out. Um, and, and, uh, for everybody, I'm sure you're all going to go through the same things I'm go, I went through and, you know, you plug it into your little computer here and it goes in and it catches the information. Um, everything's good for me. I mean, I find it very helpful. I find it keeps me on track. If by the end of the evening I have not moved enough throughout the day, it lets me know that. And I move at the end of the day in order to get where I need to go. Sorry about the dogs in the background. There must be someone walking by and my dogs freak out. Um, for me personally, I put in that I wanted to lose two pounds a week. And so it has me, according to my workout, it has me needing to burn off 2,300 calories a day with me eating 1,300 calories a day which gives me a 1,000 calorie deficit every day. That, if you know about calorie deficits and, you know, all of that, which that's a whole nother deep issue, 1,000 calories a day for the week is going to equal um, 7,000 calorie deficit for the week, which should, if you're moving enough, equal a two-pound loss um, every week should result in that. The one area that I have found this this um, system difficult, and it's completely my fault, is you really have to be accurate in your food input. What I found is I'm putting in everything, I'm busting my butt all week, I'm working out like crazy, I'm making sure I get in all my steps, I'm, you know, I'm doing all of that. But... If you're not putting in the right calorie intake at the end of the day, I mean, if you're putting in that you're eating 1,300 calories and in reality you're eating 1,900, uh, not going to work out. And that's exactly what happened for me this last week. I didn't hit my two-pound loss, and I had to really go in and analyze and think about why. And I started looking at little things that I wasn't counting because I was thinking that they were so small. Um, for instance, my creamer. In my coffee, I use that... You know, I know, I know it's crap. It's a Coffee Mate French vanilla liquid poop. But 
I use the fat free and it's something like 25 calories for a tablespoon and I just wasn't counting it I thought it was so trivial and small that I didn't think it was that big of a deal but once I started really paying attention and and I measured it I actually use like three tablespoons in my in a cup of coffee which is like 75 calories let's say if one morning I have um, two cups of coffee Okay, there's 150 calories a day right there. So, you know, I wasn't counting my mustard or mayonnaise that I put on my sandwich because I know mayonnaise is high in fat. I know that. I use low fat. And I put it on so thin because I really don't like mayonnaise that much. I put it on so thin, I didn't think it counted. Um, you know, just little things like this throughout the day that I wasn't counting that once I started paying attention and I added it up, we're talking about two and 300 calories every single day. It clearly was throwing me off. So if you're doing the body bug and you're not getting the results that you're hoping for, you need to really look at that and see if that could be the reason. It could be something else. This could not be your issue. But, you know, take a look at that. So, but for me, so far, third week, um, I, I am loving. I am loving it. So far, I have lost... I want to say like five pounds or four or five pounds, something like that. I right now I am weighing in at 142 pounds, and I'd like to get to 125. Um, I should have gotten down to 141 this week, and I didn't. But um, I'm not gonna sweat it. I grabbed a hold of my diet and calorie input. I'm going to watch that more carefully and. Um, hopefully get get what I need out of it. The other thing that I, I am finding a little bit difficult that you do also have to take into account if you are using the body bug is the workout that I'm doing right now is called P90X2 and it is heavy in um, muscle growth. And the thing is if you know a lot about muscle and fat, muscle definitely weighs more than fat and it's denser and all of this um, takes up less space and you know you are gonna shrink down but you're not necessarily gonna lose weight and so that's the thing that with the body bug if you're using the body bug for the scale number to go down that can be difficult you really also have to be watching sort of more carefully your body fat percentage and your body fat weight I happen to have a scale that tells me that stuff so I do see that dropping even if the the weight number isn't so that's the other thing that um, I am having difficulty a little bit of difficulty with because I know I'm not the numbers aren't gonna drop as quickly because I'm doing a workout that's more about strength training and less about fat loss. Although building muscle does burn fat, so mm, what to do, what to do. So anyway, that's my little mini review of Body Bugs so far. I will do more videos along the way. I can't say how often, but I'll try as often as I can, and I'll let you know how things are going for me. All right, I will talk to you soon. Bye.